depends, because if you do, you're going to probably sacrifice what Chu has. And you arguably want to have a lot of regen on him so he can actually trade out in that other lane. Oh, moving forward. Going to slow down Fade a little bit here, but Crystallize just needs to run because it's a free on two. Yeah, Fade has Boulder Smash level one. Which is... Possibly not ideal. I mean, you, you saw the value potentially there. They did do a lot of harassment. They're going to be able to snipe very easily under these guys. You can't really get that roll in from long range. You can't exploit the iron shell on top of you. It has to start with an orb of venom either as well. Goes to go for the actual regen instead. I think, I'd say the most two most popular builds I think I've seen on the Earth Spirits at the moment is the style orb of venom and low regen or... Regen and boots, right? What's Does that add blocking? up with what you've been seeing? Oh, well, they're just pushing Snake away. They farm most of the way, but they put it pretty low so they could try and deny this. It's going to be under tower at least. I guess uh, the way they want to play it, that's why he has so so much region to try to do what they're doing right now. But they're going to need to help out uh, this troll. Shadow Shaman is going to drag the creep wave back. Nope. He says, like he I don't want to do it. Hang around. It's not worth the risk, he says. Sees that DY is finally here. Mid lane, meanwhile. There is a slight lead for Magical already, but the f difference here is that the Astral can disrupt Magical's ability to actually get CS. Yes. They just keep getting rid of these Iron Shells. I guess that's, that's something to really highlight beyond. It's not just... The way you could place enchantress to block out those picks it's the value you're getting because of this darks here because of course when they made the change and added a dispel to oracle i don't know if you remember the first few games that came out with that patch it was just darks here being completely useless yep and look at the build fade stout shield yang two stout shields so they want to contest this lane they want to trade as much as possible enchantress uh, doesn't have that much uh, damage but they want to block it and also you can see the different itemization on a mid lane od with the starting item windlay so he can run away from that static link he calls it a tactical retreat of oh, harassment in the top lane in the meantime she was forced to use his fairy fire had to. DUI didn't have the mana, but he was sitting on mangoes, so he was ready to play. If Seneca's going to start hunting for some creeps. You don't actually see the Warbus placed down, so Vici don't want to give him an easy way to try and assert dominance in this lane. Oh, starting to see a lead. As we said about Ori's ability to stop Magical from farming, you can already see it. 10-5 to the 7-3 of the Razor. Yeah, and as levels goes by, oh, if he gets that uh, Astral TP from Earth Spirit, they try to go for a big play, but uh, he was not in range to use Astral. Not only that, he uh, he was seen by the creeps. The creeps were on the high ground, so it was maybe a little bit ballsy of an attempt to TP like that. But just move towards tops, actually. He wants to see if he can make something happen here. A lot of teams like to do this, right? When you're up against a Shaman, just outnumber him, because what's he going to do? Shackles and stand there? He might be forced to. Roll's going to come in. They'll ruin him on the spot. They should have enough damage to bring him down. He throws out the shackles, and there it is. First blood drawn. DY gets it. Vichy Gaming ball, moment is, is on point. A bit, uh, a little bit of a mistake uh, by Earth Spirit. If he could have grabbed the kill on that uh, Razor, it would have been huge. Nice but Archer is not getting much on the bottom lane. He's has 13 CS. Okay, he has a full magic wand. This Not is the build that you usually see on him. I mean, against the PA, though, understandable. Yeah. Meanwhile, Magnus in the top is going to go down. Fade hung around, and he got value. Another kill for this Oracle. He does already have the boots and the stick. He's feeling rich. It's a beautiful thing about POS fives. You know, they're not, they're not as fussy. Their whole concept of rich is, is pretty reasonable. If you, get, if you get boots on position 5 early on with first blood, that's the dream. They're going to dream of a kill on Magical in the mid lane here. There's a DD on Fade. And actually, Na'Vi don't know about this. Ori sees the opportunity. You can already see Magical a little bit hesitant because they don't see Earth Spirit on the map right now. 
How long can you remain hesitant? You have to come farm at some point. And there it is. Going to move it. Nashville's going to be there. Prep for the roll in. Here bing, bing, I come. Bing, bing, bing. Bats him back. Roll in. Stunts him on the spot. And you can start it, Link, all you want. But Faye's going to try and move through. The Fairy File will keep him alive. The TP in for Snakeo scares him away. But look at this. A mobile salve for you. Snakeo here to just heal Magical up to full. Yeah, but where's the clarity? He only gave him salve and... Uh... And healing. Well, he's a mobile salve. He's not. He's not a mobile guardian greaves. Okay, you're, you're asking for too much at five minutes into the game. He will get a rune as well. At least him on the top lane. Chew. Been harassed on two. He's been left behind. Magnus says, "Go on, just distract them." I'm gonna go grab this bounty rune over here. He actually snatches both in that top lane. Nice and move. That's kind of an item build. Uh, Od can deal a lot of damage early on. Three null talismans soon to be finished and. He can start playing aggressive. Expect to see it happen as well. You can't let a PA farm roll in on the Blizzy. They connect. He already used the skewer as well, so he can't escape this. And this has been, well, kind of the bread and butter for Beachy so far. This top lane just murder occurring every time we look up here, and it's always involving Fade. Yeah, I feel like DY didn't play that many games on Oracle. I might be wrong, uh, but I see Purifying Flames. Uh, running on heroes, healing them a lot of the time. Fade. Okay, Chu's not going to pursue. He might be able to get that with Aether Shock, though. Would have been close. You were coming out. Look who went pretty deep. DY! He actually fought the Earth for it needed help, but now we really understand what his name stands for. It stands for Die. They do find a kill. Not the... Well, the well, actually, I'd say that's just as valuable considering... The murdering the Oracle has been doing. Like, he has a decent amount of net worth at this stage. Yeah, I mean, he has three three heroes last hits, plus one more extra assist. He got the first blood. On all film, pretty good. You already see them as a support duo smoking up. They actually want to go punish bot now. They realize that they've given a decent lead to Paparazzi, who is top of CS and top of net worth. See Paparazzi can... always finds his farm. 20 denies. That means 7 to 11 extra gold from each deny. Phantom oh, Assassin bottom lane. Beautifully done. They move in. The Hex is going to come out. Loud crystallize to move away. Surging forward. Fade wants a target. Oh, it's smash through. Looking on a Snake They can get him pretty low, but they can't quite finish him off. The Purifying Flames actually going to help him out in the end. No, you, you're just stacking heals now. There you go. They purge it off finally. Dagger thrown out. DY has to run away. DY is using a lot of mana. Unefficiently, you either throw the fortunes and and while it's flying, use purifying flames. So once it lands, it's actually going to remove the purifying flames or or the other way around. Just purifying oh. flames into fortunes and killing enchantress crystallize next on the hit list. They're going to move across for him. The scan did spot out Ori, but they just walked straight into him. They said, "Okay, take me, Daddy Od. I don't want to live anymore." Yang coming out, doesn't connect under Chu, and he has found the glorious hiding spot, but guess what, Yang knows? This is a slow death. Shackle him, let's go. Now what? DY says, oh, it's another kill for me, he's gonna be able to get it as well, now he needs to move away. The disarm's gonna be on the PA, but it won't stop Crystallize from chasing. Turns around to Yang, they rotate in Magical as well, Border Smash not actually helping, babe, that's... That's not an escape plan. I mean, it is for them. Not so much for the Darkseer, who they thought they were coming down here to help out. Yeah, and on the top lane, you have Paparazzi, who's just free farming because a lot of uh, the attention has been drawn to the bottom lane. Because of the rotations coming... Rotations? What? Rotations. 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 That's uh, when... That's when a tree and gang yeah, yeah, Yeah. I mean, there's a root mechanic. Fortune's end. Uh, there you go. So Oracle with the rotations, but OD <laughs> with the DD... Looking to make it a GG. Moving in right now. Crystallize is going to be spotted out and revealed, but there's an instant move away because they remembered he hasn't used Sani's Eclipse yet. So he's ready to make someone go boom. Fade might just bring them to him. Look at this. OD instantly turns around. He's moving back towards this. It's a lot of time wasted for Ori here, actually. The other side, just look at Magical. He's actually making good value of his time. He's farming up the camps. But no one is farming anywhere near as much as Paparazzi. As you said, no matter the situation, this man always gets his farm. 
sitting on a healthy net worth lead at this stage. You compare it to his real counterpart, 1600 gold more. Now, a counterpart is trying for a kill on the Yang, who has not used the surge yet, and they're waiting to purge it off the moment he does. Reinforcements he coming. If he can live long enough, he's going to put down the wall. They do get killed to Oracle in the meantime. Chu striking, but guess who's here now? Ori's going to turn around Sineko. Trying to move away, but the search comes out. Looking forward to Crystallize. He wants to get him low enough for the science clip. So there he is. Drops it. Maybe a little bit too late. Didn't do enough damage. Going to pursue on the tower. Still not doing enough. In the meantime, they will find Enchantress dying to that Astral. Crystallize cutting the trees. Tries to sidestep, but it's a little bit too late. They find him. He gets him with the illusion. Paparazzi was trying to find the gank. Uh, a little Thanks. ring around the rosy around the roach pit but uh, nothing happened lost a couple of uh, cs we see these battle fury carries uh, buying demon edge whenever they can as a first item for maximum efficiency magical trying to make friends in the meantime no one wants to be his friend dui will take a lot of damage though he's got a stick so he'll be fine they're just wasting Razor's time so efficiently. I mean, it's great when he's farming, but every attempt to kill is just... It's not really getting the desired effect. You maybe get a support, but you never find these big kills. You rarely ever find the supports. 201 is not bad, but... Ori is definitely feeling a lot better about the situation. And he's going to move towards mid. Roll in. Doesn't connect. A little bit of fluff, but they will turn around, look on the Seneca. They ruined him on the spot and killed him off. This OD is like, what am I gonna do with this uh, wind lace that I just bought at the start? Oh, wait, I'm gonna upgrade it to drums. Gonna take up music lessons, you know? See if he can play a sorrowful tune for the side of Na'Vi. Who are attempting to make moves in the top lane. Paparazzi has to suspect something's up. His map, read, uh, his map reading rather in this series so far has been pretty on point. Once Pop, oh. once Ori gets that four staff on OD, he's gonna have double save against Razor, PA, pretty much anyone. Just oh. put them under or oh, they're moving. The drums activate. They knew as well. Crystallize was being greedy. They're gonna move across and punish Blizzy instead. They scanned for that. They knew that was coming, and they still hung around. Mid tower at least will be denied. At the same time, it is gone from the map, so Navi can. A sigh of release for now, uh, relief for now, but oh, will Vici strike next? Man, we're gaming eight thousand network lead. Twelve minutes in, looking pretty catastrophic for Navi. They need some sort of bounce back. I mean, we're talking about a lineup that has a Magnus with the Empower, and your PA is sitting fourth in net worth. Not even close to the top three. Yeah, because it's a core Magnus, so he wants to get the farm for himself, which means that he's not gonna follow PA around. Most of the time, PA just needs to come to Magnus to actually get get that M power. Deep rolling. Oh, they connected on the magical. That's going to be an easy kill after they get tower. Double value being found. They roll for looking for more than Seneco. He's next on the hit list. Someone fancies Venison tonight. Paparazzi is involved in 7 out of 13 kills as Troll Warlord. Even though he is not going for battle build, he's going for battle fury build instead which means he wants to farm and he always goes for battle fury whenever he's playing that uh, melee carry even though he can transform let me sit in top of the net worth chart with his latest hit you make me so angry i could never die Seven thousand net worth and it is growing the distance between him and crystallize will not slow down this troll is gonna be madman in this game Surged Troll with Iron Shell on him, plus Oracle behind him to save him on top of OD with uh, 13 minutes Battle Fury. And that's just Battle Fury. That's full power threads, Raid Band, and Magic Wand. I think the word you're looking for is monster. Armed. <laughs> monstrosity. I think, I think monstrosity will do. Uh, you know, I, I don't want to make paparazzi upset, but this is not reasonable, okay? This is not... What do you do right now as Na'Vi? You have to somehow find a pick off onto him, but... <laughs> Razor instead! Oh my god, the health bar! Well, Na'Vi's not making any rotations. Uh, who's gonna make rotations? You have position 5 Enchantress. Uh, yeah, she's cool. She's gonna purge off uh, Surge. But, I mean, instead, uh, VG are the ones making rotations. They find Crystallize, the big kill. The pings are coming out, and... 
paparazzi is unapproachable. The other four are on a murder spree, looking for anyone they can find. And look at this desperate move, dropping the wards in the safe lane to try and get a tower at least. Radiance middle tower and yeah, that, that, that's ticklish. Seneca. Oh my god, that's the second <laughs> just tower denied. denied. It. He casually sits there, doesn't give a damn. You're hitting him with impetus that much, and look at look at the results. Radiance Not even half his HP pool gone. Attack. It's the next big item. I mean, we're looking towards the Yules for Razor. He's still over a thousand gold away. No small amount at this stage in the game. He needs some bounties and looks like you'll at least get two of those. They want to move on to Yang. And they ping him out, but look at it straight away. Choose like, nope, no mana to work with. I don't know what you're expecting of me. He's just fishing for info on the top lane. That's what Soneko does. He wants to force a rotation off a core so they can see where enemies are and uh, his phantom assassin can farm but, but the not gaming listening. knows what's up they are not falling there far. it is the clips gets dropped they finally kill chris lies and magical is just the bonus dish on the side now they can push in for this tier two in the mid with the catapult at the ready Ooh, this is getting vicious Twelve thousand gold net worth lead for the side of beachy not even 16 minutes into the game yet just as much xp Look at this, Paparazzi's made a new home in the bot lane. Keeping that pushed in at all times. The TP in top, they want to punish. Sans coming out with the boulder smash as well. Enchantress way too low to survive, even with the assistance of nature. She cannot heal enough. Wish granted. Enchantress wanted to die, and uh, suddenly she's dead. They're pressuring all the towers. Look at the amount of farm that VG Gaming has. They're controlling the whole map. Getting insane, and this is without an Aegis, right? They're playing this ballsy, they're not concerned at all. They might now decide they want to pick off Roshan as Paparazzi moves into the pit. Not much of the map is left for Na'Vi to hide behind. Perfect time to do so. I mean, we've been saying about the typical motion of a game is get that first Rosh, push an Avage, then the second Rosh in time for high ground. This might be first Rosh in time for high ground. You're going to need a godly RP when they come as well. Uh, you look at the way Vici have to play this. They can be pretty retracted, right? You can have the Earth Spirit bait in. Troll can join him, but OD can just poke and prod from the side of the fight. Yeah, now with the mobility item on him, uh, he went for Blink Dagger. He either can die or he can just save people with, uh, with that Astral. Magnus, not even close to Blink Dagger. Almost 800 gold away. This well, is not looking good. We just about to see the blink reveal. <laughs> Poor Enchantress Seneco will be the sacrificial lamb or deer in this case. Seneco run into the tree line, but the boulder smash kills him. And that sets up beautifully for a push onto the tier two tower on top. Look where the rest of Navi have gone. Radiance top tower is under attack. They're, they're like holding hands. They're like, wait, we played on this side of the map last. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This is this is definitely our home now. They're gonna smoke up. Actually, they want to try and punish Paparazzi. They have. You'll see it though. He's moving away. Hex coming out. They're trying to stay out of range of those whirling axes. Now they're going to move in, but the roll across. Guess who's here? With the silence connecting on the two. The magnetized as well. Phantom Assassin turned around on and dead. Two. Next on the hit list. In the meantime, Astro's going to go out to Blizzy. Might be enough to just kick him out right there. And Chu will fall. Blizzy looking to run away, limping to safety, but can he make it? Got no TP. He's stuck here for 70 seconds, in fact. They scan the wrong side. Will they check? Even if they don't check, actually, what does he do? He can try to creep skip a little bit, but the Yang is going to find him. He is. And Skew comes out, but Yang says, no, 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 I'm not stopping here. Because he has nothing left in the chamber. Meanwhile, look where the rest of Vichy are. They're in your base. Aggressive blink for Biori won't find anyone. Finally, Blizzy does go down. And Man, Troll's I knocking wish, on your doors. I wish Navi had one kill less. <laughs> <laughs> it's Vichy's fault, really. I'm forgiving over that extra kill. Moving in. Astral coming out. There you go. Drop the science eclipse. Run out of mana. Two game free low roll. Missed time, but it doesn't matter. He dies to the astral damage. Magical is gone. Chew. Just about living. Does fan keep the heal on the NDY? Well, I'll just back off right here. They need to hit the buildings. That's going to be one lane down. And I mean, if you're a Sesame Street character right now, you might as well start counting it. Because that's one, two, three buildings dead. But they're not going to stop there. They're going to see how hard they can count. Second lane falling. They can't get the third, but I mean, do they care? 
You're two lanes down at the 20 minutes mark. Or oh, are you? Oh, they're jumping in. Shoot for to drop. The wards be sun stop. He can't do anything else. Back in. Wall going down. Buyback comes out from the Shaman. Snake will get pretty low. Needed one more touch, but he couldn't find it. But Magnus blinked into silence. So he could not RP. Fade on point with his silences so far in this game. And they'll back away. They say, okay, no, that's fine. We force a buyback. We force you to use Serpent Wars. We know you're not going to be out on the map pushing anywhere anytime soon. We'll back off, take the tier two, and then we'll see you again in your base in about two minutes. They have three out of four team fighting items. The mech done, Crimson Guard done, and Vlad's on Earth Spirit. Radiance top shrine has fallen. They ticken every box so far this game. I mean, everyone has been performing very well inside of Ichi, but especially him, these clutch silences. Right choice volumes, the right positioning all throughout this game. RV, you've probably got about a minute, maybe two more. What is the item that's going to get you there? You're nowhere near the BKB. Razor has got his Yules. You have no wards for 50 seconds. You need the most godly RP Blizzy can summon up. The net worth is more than 1k per minute. Yeah, usually not a good indicator of a, of a losing team's chance of bouncing back. And Dirt Plus right now. Oh, that's a 100% win rate. Or win probability, rather. Not a chance in hell is what the AI says. They just saw Never the doubt lineup. Gaben. I mean, they just saw the lineup. They're like, nope. Back and away. Just closes the game and moves off. Yang down to half HP. Moving in from Ori. RP. Skewer back. Connecting on the free. Can they do enough damage? Crystallize. Trying to crit through. But no. They've lost the Magnus. The Shadow Charm go down as well. Crystallize. Melting in the face of this danger. Four dead already. And Na'Vi. It may be over. VG move in. GG comes out. It's a 2-0 victory for the side of VG Gaming. Na'Vi got outclassed in this... Uh second game maybe the whole series they were never ahead they did not have a plan i'm gonna blame it on draft in game number one and was not a big fan of enchantress uh, pick in the second game as well but uh, vici gaming they show how fast they can play and how coordinated pretty much a game with uh, no mistakes